All right, here we are, home sweet home. Just sit down on the couch over there and get comfy under the blankets. I'll get the popcorn. Yeah, it is pretty dark. Sorry about that. My lights have been on the fritz for a while, so it's always really dimly lit in here. But it's kind of romantic, right? Ambiance. <laughs> oh, watch your step. Anyway, I can't wait to do this. It's been so long since we had a proper date night where we could just cuddle on the couch together and watch a good movie. Remember you picked the last time? So it's my pick this time. I'm thinking horror. Yeah, yeah, I know. I always pick a horror movie for movie night, and it's always a good choice. <laughs> I'm a sucker for a bloody ending. Sue me. Oh, I forgot to tell you. I got that extra buttery popcorn you said you'd like. Act two, right? <laughs> Honestly, I can't taste the difference, but... Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I completely forgot I left that jar on the coffee table. What's in it? Uh, it's, um, it's beet juice. I'm on this new diet. Yeah, a diet. A uh, beet-focused diet. It really works. You should check it out online. It's red because it's beet juice, duh! <laughs> it looks all dark and sticky because I mixed it with black sugar to make it taste better. Look, I don't know. Never mind. Let me just get that out of your way and put it back in the fridge where it belongs. Speaking of... Um... Please don't get anything from the fridge yourself. Just ask me and I'll get it for you. My fridge is kind of a huge mess is all. I'd be embarrassed if you saw it. <laughs> it's not that there's anything in there or anything. It's just, uh, it's messy. What do you mean? Acting like what? Weird. I'm not acting weird. You're... You're the one acting weird. <laughs> now come on, quit fooling around. Let me just slip under the blanket next to you and let's get the movie started. I just can't wait to snuggle with you and enjoy a night in together. Now, where did I put that remote? What? You mean the TV? I haven't turned it on yet. Of course you can't see anything. It's just a black screen. Why? Oh, you mean your reflection on the screen? Yeah, I see it. Why? My reflection? Oh, um, it's there too. You can't see it? See, I'm right there next to you in the reflection. It's just really hard to see because, you know, I'm wearing all black. <laughs> so I guess I blend into the black mirror of the TV screen. Yeah, I do wear black a lot. Basically all the time, I guess. But like, isn't that what the gods are kind of known for? That and wearing sunglasses indoors. I mean, you knew what you were getting into when I wore my goat skull pendant on our first date. <laughs> no, I swear my reflection is there. I mean, maybe it's just like you can't see it from that angle you're sitting at. Like an optical illusion or whatever. It's not like it's not there. I mean, why would my reflection not appear on the screen? That would be like... 
impossible. <laughs> anyway, what's with all the questions? You're like super curious about all this random stuff all of a sudden. Let's just... What? No. What do you mean? Is there something I want to tell you? Something like what? Why do you look so scared all of a sudden? You're like pulling away from me under the blanket. Wait. Okay, fine. I knew one day we would have this conversation. I could see you were starting to get suspicious these last few weeks. I was just hoping to have one last movie night before I told you the truth and we broke up. Alright, here goes. I haven't been exactly totally honest with you. I'm not a goth. Well, okay, I am a goth, but I'm not just a goth. I'm also... I'm also a vampire. Yes, I'm serious. When I told you, I had a rare genetic condition that makes my incisors way longer than usual. That was a lie. These are my fangs. Oh, and I told you, please never to get me silver jewelry because it doesn't work with my style. That was a lie. Silver literally burns my skin. When I told you I was allergic to garlic bread. Okay, <laughs> I guess that was technically the truth. <laughs> now you know why you can't see my reflection on the TV screen. And why we only ever have dates after dark. And why there's barely any light in my apartment. Think about how I've acted since you've met me. All the odd little things I do. You know it's true. But... But I want you to know one thing. I'm not some, like, monster like they show in the movies. I don't kill people. I don't hurt people. That jar... It wasn't beet juice, okay? It was blood. It was human blood. But I don't just bite people on the neck and suck it out of them. I would never do that. I buy it all from licensed blood donation centers and I never take more than I need. I don't see humans as prey. They're my friends and I care about them. It's just that I need their blood to survive. But I try to get at it as ethically as I can. I never want to hurt anyone. I'm not... I'm not a monster. Okay, that's all I had to say. I can see you're confused and scared. I... I get it. It's fine. You can get up and go now. I understand. I said you can leave. It's fine. Well, don't you want to? Don't you want to leave? I mean, everybody does. It doesn't matter how well things are going before. Everyone I get close to. When I tell them who I really am, they leave. Some of them literally run away. <laughs> I guess I can't blame them. I mean, I have fangs and I drink blood. They're right to be scared. So, it's fine. You won't hurt my feelings. Just go. I get it. You... you don't want to leave? Look, I get you're trying to be polite, but really... 
you do? You mean you're not afraid of me? No, no, I mean, you have no reason to be afraid of me. I'd never hurt you. I'd never hurt anyone. I'm not like that. But it's just... People hear what I am and they picture big, bad Dracula or Count Orlock or Elizabeth Bathory bathing in human blood. They get so frightened. I see it in their eyes. You're really not scared? Oh. That really means a lot for you to say. Thank you. I, uh, I've been so lonely for so, so long. I've always tried to hide being this. But you can never hide what you really are from the people closest to you. Sooner or later, it always gets out and it never ends well. I mean, who wants a blood drinking vampire chick to be their friend? let alone their girlfriend. <laughs> you really mean that? So you don't want to break up? Look, if you're just trying to spare my feelings, I promise. Really? Oh, I... I honestly don't know what to say. I really like you too. You're my absolute favorite human. And I've met more than a few good ones in all the time I've been around. By the way, promise you'll never ask my age. I may be a vampire, but that's still considered impolite. <laughs> but seriously, you'd really give me a chance? You'd give us a chance, even knowing what I am? I am really so, so happy to hear that. No one's ever told me that before. I'd love to give us a chance too. Here, snuggle in close. Mm -hmm. I want to hold you. There we go. I love you so much. Thank you for understanding. I promise you, you won't regret it. You know, I'm really not that different from you guys. Sure, my bedroom has a coffin instead of a bed and all. <laughs> but deep down, my heart is just like yours. I laugh and cry and get scared and feel joy and dream just like humans do. We're more alike than you think, really. I guess I've just always hoped I'd live long enough to find someone who got to know me well enough to realize that, and now, I finally have. Mm, that's it. Nestle into me and let me hold you. I love cuddling you so much. Kiss me again, please. I promise I don't bite. <laughs> Sorry, that was a really lame joke, guy. <laughs> oh, your body feels so warm under the blankets. We need to make movie nights and cuddles a weekly thing, okay? Oh yeah, and one other thing. Remember when I told you that the tin of bat food I accidentally left at your place was for my pet bat, Diego? Well, I actually don't have a pet bat. That was for me. It tastes better than you think. <laughs> no, it's not a myth. Vampires really can turn into bats. Very handy for flying across town when I'm in a hurry and the buses are running late. I'd be happy to show you sometime. But it makes my clothes fall off, so... It'd be kind of embarrassing, unless you're into that. <laughs> anyway, 
Now that we've cleared the air and all, do you want to finally watch the movie? All right, me too. Thank you for being so amazing. Let's just go over the horror section. Oh no, I'm not addicted to horror movies because I'm a vampire. I'm addicted to horror movies because I'm a goth. Get your stereotypes straight. <laughs> so, have you ever seen this movie called Grave Encounters? No? Oh, you're in for a treat. I love found footage movies, and this one's a classic. If you enjoyed, like, comment, and watch another video. Become a YouTube member or a patron for cool badges, early access, and exclusive content. Noblesse oblige. Thank you for your continuing service as my subscriber.